Welcome back. Moving forward, in the previous lesson, we installed the RSA private key and uploaded in our files area. In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to demonstrate how to actually download and install curl, which is C U R L. And I'm going to talk about what that is and why do we need it. So let me go ahead and bring up the URL as well so you can actually see. But first, take a look at what curl is, right? So it's a free command line tool for getting or sending data using URL syntax. So essentially this is the function of CURL or also called curl. It comes in handy when working with REST endpoints or REST APIs, right? So you use curl throughout this module to make calls to the Einstein intent application programming interface. So we are going to use curl throughout this course or exactly in this module is the project that we're actually doing here. We're going to use this particular curl to download and install. Now if you're using Linux or Mac OS X operating systems they already have curl installed by default so you don't have to worry about that but if you're using Windows you'd have to install it yourself and in order to install you have to go to navigate to the URL that you can see on the screen download and install the version for your own respective operating system. So again Pretty straightforward, but just wanted to show you as a next step what's all involved as part of the prerequisites, right, moving forward. So let me go ahead and navigate to the next tab here. This is the URL. If you don't have it otherwise, right, you can search for it and it will download or bring you to this page where you can actually download for Windows. So if you're using Win64, generic, unspecified version, this is your CPU, right, Core64 version or 32-bit version, whichever, and you can download it. So typically, if you're using Windows 10, for instance, I would recommend downloading the 64-bit version. So once you're on this page, you can scroll down and take a look at which one you like to install. But pretty straightforward, you want to have the SSL and the SSH, the shell also enabled. So I hope this helps. Go ahead, practice with this. Download, install. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the discussions area. And with this, let's move to the next lesson.